Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of sequences and series. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us let S1, S2, S3 till S10 respectively be the sum to 12 terms of arithmetic progression. So these are the 10 arithmetic progressions given whose first terms are given to us for each of the list as 1, 2, 3 till 10. So every AP has the first term respectively from 1 to 10 and the common differences for each of these 10 arithmetic progressions goes from 1, 3, 5 till 19. So these are the common differences and these are the first terms given respectively. Then the question asks us to find out summation of i equals 1 to 10 si is equal to how much. So first of all, we have been asked to find sum of all these 10 APs. And once you find sum of all these 10 APs individually, you have to add all of those sums also. And that is basically asked to us. And if I talk about the answer choices that we have been given here, uh, they are 7360. 7220, then you have 7260, and the last answer choice given to us is 7380. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choice is the correct answer for the question which is asked to us here. So there are many multiple ways to solve this question. You can find the sum of all the 10 APs individually also and then add it, but that would make it very time consuming and lengthy. So let's try to find a pattern because I can see there is a pattern of the first terms that each term of the next arithmetic progression is increasing by one and same for the common difference that each difference of the next arithmetic progression is increasing by two. So let's try to find some of all these 10 APs in a pattern and then we'll use that idea only to find some of all the 10 APs that we have here. So let's try to solve this question first. So I know one thing that my first term of each arithmetic progression that is a i so a 1 let's say for the second arithmetic progression this is a 2 so each first term is nothing but equal to that nth term of the arithmetic progression or i should say nth arithmetic progression so a i it's equal to i and if i write that difference also in the same form i have that as 1 3 5 till 19. So if I have my first arithmetic progression, I can write that as 2 into 1 minus 1, which gives me 1. Second arithmetic progression, I can write that as 2 into 2 minus 1. 5, I can write that as 2 into 3 minus 1 because it's my third arithmetic progression. Likewise, I can do that till the last arithmetic progression, which is 2 into 10 minus 1. So I get my common differences in terms of i also, that is 2i minus 1. Now, once I have that, I know I have to find the sum of first 12 terms for each arithmetic progression. So let's say if I have Sn, I know for arithmetic progression, it's given by n over 2, 2a plus n minus 1d. So that's basically sum of all the n terms of arithmetic progression. So if I have to find the sum of 12 terms for each arithmetic progression, I'll put n as 2. So 12 divided by 2 into 2a plus 12 minus 1, which is 11d. So that basically gives me 12 into 2a plus 11d over 2. Now, once I have sum of 12 terms for arithmetic progression, we have been told that for each arithmetic progression, I have to find this sum. So if I write it in the form of si, I can write that as 12. A, I know that a i becomes basically i. So I will replace that with i. So 2i plus 11. Difference of each arithmetic progression also we have found it in the pattern 2i minus 1. So I'll write that as 2i minus 1 divided by 2. So if I try to solve this further, I can cancel this 2 and 12 as 6. So 6 into 2 which is basically 12i plus 11 into 2 which is 22 already and 22 into 6. If I try to figure out that. 6 to 12, 1, 6 to 12, 13, so 132. So I get this as 132i. 
minus 11 into 1, 11, and 6 into 11 is 66. So I know it is 66. So from here, I get my SI as 132 plus 12, which is 144i minus 66. So if I take out again 6 common only, I get 24i minus 11. Now this is SI that is basically telling us that it is sum of any arithmetic progression out of the 10 that we have here. Now we have been asked to actually find out sum of all the sum of 12 terms of all 10 arithmetic progression. So basically we have been told that for i equals to 1, 2, 3 till 10 we have to find sum of all of those terms that will be present in all the 10 arithmetic progressions. So if I have to find out that, I know from i equals to 1 to 10, we have to find sum of SI that is basically given to us as from i equals to 1 to 10. We have to find sum of all of this that is 6 times 24i minus 11. So if I have to find that, I'll figure out that summation of i equals 1 to 10 SI is equal to 6 out. So summation of i equals 1 to 10, 24i minus 11. Now if I figure out this, I'll separate this 6, 24, summation of i equals 1 to 10, i minus 11, summation of i equals 1 to 10. And this doesn't have anything, so it basically is 1. Now if I figure out this, I know summation of the terms that is n terms is basically given to us as n into n plus 1 divided by 2. So if I have that, I can use that same idea here also. So it basically makes it 6 times 24. This becomes from 1 to 10. So it becomes 10 into 10 plus 1 divided by 2 minus 11 summation of all the terms from i equals 1 to 10 with summation of 1 basically means that 1 is added 10 times so it basically becomes 10 so if i further try to solve this idea i get this as 6 24 10 11 divided by 2 minus 11 into 10 which is 110 so i can also take out this is 12 so I can also take out 11 into 10, 110 common. I am left with 12 minus 1, which is 11 again. So from here, if I try to solve this, I get this 6. 11 squared is 121 and a 0. So 121 and a 0 multiplied with 6, 0. 6, 1, 6, 6, 2 is 12. 6, 1 is 6 and 7. So from here, I get this as 7, 2, 6, 0. So if I see the answer choice that matches here with the question, it is option C. So C becomes the correct answer here for the question that is given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions, which deals with the ideas of finding the sum of multiple arithmetic progressions given to us, whose first terms are also in a pattern and the common differences are also in a pattern. So we figured out that pattern. We found the sum of 12 terms for each arithmetic progression that instead of that i put that as i because i can find sum of any arithmetic progression for those 12 terms and then we just figured out the sum of all those 10 arithmetic progressions so by the idea of summation we figured out the answer and that matches with option c so c becomes the correct answer here for the question that is given to us i'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic and we are going to continue our series of questions on JWE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you are enjoying these videos that we are doing every day, please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel and share these videos with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JWE so they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.